What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another video, man. And today, man, I'm going to talk about a couple of games that took place yesterday. You had Clemson beating Louisville 77-16. to You had Ohio State beating Nebraska 36-31. to And you also had Michigan beating Penn State 42-7. to First with Clemson and Louisville, man, like, I'm not going to lie, man. Like, I was never really a big Bobby Petrino fan, man. I understand, you know, back in the day with Louisville when he had, um, what's his name, was Brian Brom. You know, they went to some nice bowl games and stuff like that. He took his chances with the Atlanta Falcons thinking they're going to have Vic. But then, of course, you know, Vic had gotten all that trouble with the dog fighting stuff. So um, then he kind of just under the table left the Atlanta Falcons in the middle of the night and went to Arkansas. Then he had the little issue with the female on the motorcycle at Arkansas. You know, and then uh, he worked his way back up and he back at Louisville, man. Had a couple of decent seasons, you know, with Lamar Jackson over there. But now ain't no Lamar Jackson over there no more. And ain't no Lamar Jackson gonna be coming walking through that door for the Louisville Cardinals football program, man. I mean, my goodness, man. That don't make no sense. 77 points y'all give up, bro? Like, Bobby Petrino, that ain't what's up, man. That ain't what's up, bro. Like... They only got, I think, like two wins on the season. Louisville is a putrid football team this year, man. I don't know how they feel about, you know, giving him another chance next year, hoping maybe he get a type of quarterback that he need in there. But obviously, like, without Lamar Jackson, man, he ain't much of a coach with Louisville, bro. You know what I'm saying? And as far as Clemson, like I said, man, they a better offensive team, man, with the, with the throwing ability of true freshman Trevor Lawrence. You know, they got the big homie ETN, the Jennings, Louisiana native, running the ball hard. You know, they got them great defensive linemen, NFL first round caliber defensive linemen. Clemson looking like a well oiled machine, man. They looking like a definite top four playoff team, like a team that's definitely going to be in there when the playoffs start, unless some crazy stuff happens, some injuries or some unexpected losses come their way. Because, you know, they looking like they might roll into the playoffs undefeated, man. You know, then you had Ohio State beating Nebraska 36-31. to You know, Ohio State, man, they pulled out the win. But ever since that, you know, that beat down in Purdue, man, they kind of, they don't really seem like themselves right now, man. You know, they still got, you know, Haskins over there still doing a fairly decent job throwing the ball. You know, they're running back. Um, he looking pretty solid out there. But defensively, man, like, they've been getting picked apart. You know, Nebraska coming in with, like, just two wins in Scott Frost's first year, which, you know, I believe maybe eventually I think Scott Frost will turn it around in a couple of years, in a year or two or whatever. But, you know, they showed they showed a lot of – they was competitive yesterday against a top-10 team on the road. That's a step in the right direction for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. You know, it ain't the days of Tommy Frazier and, you know, all those other guys and Lawrence Phillips, you know, you know, guy rest his soul, you know, even though we know he was a terrible dude and stuff like that, man. But, um, yeah, man, like, it's, it's long away from those days when, when even when Scott Frost was playing quarterback – but I think, you know, eventually he may end up getting those guys back on the right track and stuff like that, man. And, um, yeah, man, Ohio State squeaked it out, man, 36-31. But they got some some big-time games coming up, man, in the future, you know. Of course, they got the huge matchup with Michigan, you know, Thanksgiving um week. You know, they got a big game at Michigan State. You know, they, they got some, some matchups coming up, man, you know, to try to right the ship and get back to how uh, – to playing Ohio State football how they was earlier in the year. Then you had Michigan beating Penn State 42 to 7, man. And like ever since an opening week loss to the Notre Dame fighting Irish, man, the Michigan Wolverines, like, they've been doing their thing, man. Hallbork looked like he finally got a quarterback that he comfortable with over there with Michigan, man. You know, the old Miss transfer, Shea Patterson, another Louisiana native, you know what I'm saying? He out there giving Michigan a spark offensively. You know they already got a, a stout, you know, number one ranked defense, you know, but now they got a quarterback that can help them put up some points, you know. 
Michigan looking like a real solid, legit team, man. And that Michigan-Ohio State matchup in a few weeks looking like it's going to be something serious. You know, and as far as Penn State, State, man, you know, they just, you know, this ain't really their year, man. They had a golden opportunity the last couple of years with Saquon Barkley there, man. And now they just, you know, they kind of going through it, man. They ain't really getting it done in the big, big games like that. You know, James Franklin gonna have to find, gonna have to get some more players over there, man. You know, if they want to turn this thing around and start back competing in the Big Ten like they did the last couple of years, man. But um, but that's all I got for y'all today, man. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, get your boy a subscriber. We have NCAA football content throughout the season, man. Y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.